how do we get people to come into treatment at an earlier stage of their gambling disorder? How do we get people to be asking for treatment and professional support before things get really, really, really severe? But one of the things we've seen in California that really works is is not just screening, but screening often. Number two, uh, we've seen that when people call, if you can make an appointment within the first two or three days of actually calling for help, that makes a huge difference uh, in, in getting people sooner rather than later. The other thing we're looking at are things like, instead of calling a gambling screening, talk about it in terms of, say, financial health, financial literacy, and then bringing it to a at-risk population. For instance, college students or folks you know who are uh, athletes who at the beginning of the season. So you call the session financial health, financial literacy, that seems to be a way to get people much more engaged and more talkative about gambling than calling it a gambling prevention screening. Mm-hmm.